everyone, my name is Benoit and it's Christmas. I can't even be fucking arsed with Christmas. I thought I'd try and cheer myself up and do a wee Christmas special. Never done a Christmas special before so welcome to Retro Nostalgia Christmas Special. Now typically around this time of year all the internet reviewers will do a Christmas special and they'll deliberately pick a fucking shite Santa game or a shite Christmas themed game just to be entertaining. Either ones on old consoles or fucking shitty flash games. But I can't be asked with that. I just went Christmas soon and done me, so I decided to do a bit of digging. And I do believe I found a Christmas themed game that might actually be good. Released in 1994 on the Super Nintendo and the Sega Mega Drive or the Genesis in America. Created by Funcom and released by Sunsoft. They release their own games and third party games as well as a publisher. Uh, they're known for Xenophile, Warner Brothers cartoon games, some of the Batman games on SNES and Mega Drive. They even got to release some of the Final Fantasy Game Boy games, which is quite good, but they're mostly known for Aero the Acrobat. So welcome everybody to Days of Christmas. <laughs> Merry Christmas. This game is basically someone's trying to steal Christmas, they've stolen all Santa's gifts and imprisoned all these elves. So your job is to pick up presents, kill enemies to pick up more presents, and eventually you have to then deliver the presents to all the little kitties all over the world. First glance, the game does look really good. Uh, there's a lot of detail in the levels. Some of the levels are really well designed. The animation's really good. Certain aspects of the levels are pretty cool. Like there's this little thing you go through, and as you're going through, it looks at you and it turns you into a present. What the fuck's that about? You get a fair share of typical Christmas levels in this as well. You start off in Santa's workshop, then you're outside in a snow level. But the next level after that can be quite scary. Music adds to that as well. So the game looks good and it sounds good. So if I found that a good Santa Claus game? Or even a good Christmas game? Is that possible? Oh wait, I'm forgetting something. The controls. The fuck? The controls start off okay, you only get two buttons, jumping, fucking Hadouken. Hadouken! One of my main gripes with this game is the character is always in the middle of the screen and he takes up so much room that you can't really move with confidence to the left or the right otherwise an enemy will just pop out of nowhere and it's fucking annoying and it keeps happening and it, you can't ever, ever anticipate an enemy coming inside the screen because it moves too fast. There's also a part where you need to jump and grab onto these fucking ropes hanging from the ceiling and you need to press up at the exact fucking point. You can't just hold it like any good fucking platformer where you would automatically attach to it. You've got to press it right when you're a fucking bear at it on the dot and 
fucking pixel perfect. So, fuck Christmas, and fuck this game, I'm away. William, but some people call me Terry Bull. I don't really know why. <laughs> I don't get it. Anyway, I'm here to tell you what's wrong with you, you cunt. You used to be such a cheery wee guy. Now you're fucking sitting here shouting, greeting her again, getting pissed. That's my job, son. Lighten up with your Christmas spirit, especially at this fucking time of year, man. Come on, you fuck. I'm away. I understand now. The spirit of Christmas, it's not dead. Christmas is alive and I can feel it in my heart. This calls for a song. Fucking right. Merry Christmas everyone.